Well then. Oh, Jess, I said have another little nap. You're all awake, naughty boy. <laughs> Here's your tea. <laughs> there. Oh, oh, you've been dreaming, I can tell. You get all sweaty just there. Oh, dear, dear, dear. <laughs> I did stir it for you. <laughs> Ain't you been throwing the covers all about? Were you too hot? I expect you were. Yeah, yes, it was a flea. Have you got a bite? We'll have to <laughs> you know, as much as I love Paddy, he does seem to make fleas somehow. Now, come on, off that bed. Come on, off. Who are you? As you've probably guessed, we come from another planet. Venus? <laughs> <laughs> Venus is too bloody hot. There's nothing that rocks too hot to live on. Just a minute, I said that. Did you? Well, something like it. I don't doubt it. You have an exceptional brain. It's very much like ours. We belong to the planet Mercury. Mercury? Surprised. But that's even hotter. It's close to the sun, isn't it? You're dead right. But it's hollow, and we live inside. Meet my companions. Loon and Bat and Saka. How do? Nice to know you. How are you? Your name? Keep on calling me Miss Griffin. It will be simpler. I saw you in my sleep. It was no dream. It was my way of bringing you here. You came with Cuddly the dog. By the way, where is he? Oh, I expect he's playing with those cats. Now, we need your help. Our ship is suffering from the failure of some component. We cannot take off. When you came to me in my shop... That's right. I was testing you. And I passed. You did. <laughs> well, as long as it's not a question of spares. <laughs> An intermittent fault. Dodgy connection. Maybe a dry joint. I see you use valves. Oh, yes. Not transistors. Oh. Now, like I always said, transistors are just a passing phase. 
Oh. A lot of leads. Spaghetti. The more there is, the more there is to go wrong. If it can go wrong, it will. You speak perfect English. We can speak every language of the earth. We come here in our craft to observe it and watch over it. That is our present mission. I've got it. Excellent. <laughs> it's just uh, come on soldered. Let's see, I, I usually keep an iron with me. Here we are. Still to begin. What's your current? Any current you like. Well, that's a handy little gadget, that, eh? Right, let's have a go. Once upon a time, we were Earth people ourselves. Our ancestors lived in a land called Atlantis. Oh, yes. They had a great civilization. Oh, yes. Very advanced. Nothing they hadn't got. Well, what happened then? The Ice Ages came. They would have perished, they had to get out. So they transferred themselves to the planet Mercury. There was no water there, so they took a quantity of the Atlantic Ocean. Put it inside. Inside the planet. The inland sea. And ever since we come to visit Earth, it is our duty. Oh. Right. Oh. That's it. Uh, switch on. Job. Well, well, watch it. It's hot. They are clever, but I love human men. Will, will I see you again, Miss Griffin? Of course you will. Sooner than you think. We shall have much to do together. Do. Accomplish. Jobs. Tasks. Dangerous. Sometimes. But our relationship must remain secret. Even from your wife. <laughs> uh, can I tell Jim? He's interested. A little then. But be careful. Of course. And I shall continue to be Miss Griffin with hot temper. Always cross with you. <laughs> Time to go. See you again soon. You must come and see us at home. You'll like it. Calculator. I bought it for three quid from a fellow in a pub. I can really get going on the Great Pyramid with this. I can get going on all the all the measurements, all the internal volumes and resonances and whatnot. They'll save me a lot of time, Des. Last night, did you know what happened? The fellow had lost the instructions, though. I found a spaceship. 